Hello YouTube, this is Elzer Thay 101. Uh, we got an update on the Camaro. This is my buddy Nick. Hi, Dick. Brant. Hey. They've been helping, assisticating me. <laughs> uh, so we got the radiator in. We uh, fabricated uh, mounts for it. Well, we actually, we bought the uh, mounting brackets off of Summit Racing, but what we did was we uh, bent them, heated up with the torch and bent them and then welded them to the bottom of the uh, core uh, to uh, align with the radiator and fit. And then we, for the side brackets, we cut a piece of pipe and use that to space it out from here and kind of just ran a bolt through it and that's holding that on. Um, what else? We use the bottom mounts on the side and the... Yeah. yeah. The bottom mounts are on the side and the side mounts are on the bottom to get the radiator low enough to... Yeah, to we, we, we switched the hoods around because they had side mounts and bottom mounts where we switched them around. Like you can see, the radiator sits a couple, maybe like four or three inches down from where the core actually is, so it's a pretty big radiator. And then uh, we used, uh, we put our uh, transmission intercooler in, and we uh, used like the little mounting kit that goes to the uh, shrouds and just clips on the back. So, so we basically got uh, almost everything done on the inside the engine bay. And right now we are rebuilding a uh, rack and pinion. Nick over here has his good. Uh, fabricating skills. We just cut off. Do we have any pieces of it left to show? Uh, they're hot. Right here, <laughs> don't touch it. Man. Don't touch it. Don't touch Never it. Never mind. They're too hot. <laughs> uh, but uh, basically, to if you want to depower a steering rack, what you do is you uh, have to. Di oh, fuck, that's hot. You have to dis <laughs> disassemble uh, the rack and pinion, and then you pull the rack. You pull the rack right out of the uh, pinion, and then after you slide all the uh, bearings off, there's one left, and it's uh. It's the seal that holds the pressure from uh, these two um, inlets right here that go to the power steering. And you cut off that uh, metal bearing in the uh, rubber seal. And then that makes it so there's no more pressure there. And it basically converts it to a manual <coughs> steering rack. You pulled out the only parts that uh, made it power steering. Then you just uh, put it back together and cap off the end. So we'll see how the rest of the night goes with that. So thanks for watching.